Hey, this is uh, Breast Farms. We wanted to give you um, an insight on some of our inside of our building. Uh, this is one of our uh, uh, pens that we use to grow off our starter birds in and uh, give you a little bit of ideas of where it is. We have um, everything on the ends pull out so we can um, move them into one pen to another. Um, we also have uh, a half by one inch on the floor uh, for the wire, and what that does, that allows any kind of uh, droppings or whatever to go right through the floor, and it uh, doesn't allow it to stay in there. A lot of times you have trouble with, with the droppings hanging onto the wire. This uh, half inch by one inch works perfect. It doesn't hurt their feet. Their feet does not fall through, and it just works very well. And at the back, you can see the little gap there. We have, uh, we're able to adjust that. Uh, that's where the baby, the birds can go in and um, and stick their head in and eat. And uh, these birds are very happy in here. Uh, we have a water system in here also, but at this time we have this particular unit in a facility that uh, we're going to relocate it, and we are just putting some regular. Uh, chicken water is in there for right now and until we get it moved to where it's going to be at permanent and we like and we got the waters that we have um that we use in our chicks just a bigger size and they also everything is also on rollers and we have the um, uh, dropping catcher on the bottom and they are also on a rollers and we can clean those because we clean those um between um, one and four weeks, according to what we have in there, they get a thorough cleaning and sanitizing um, once uh, a month, a, a month uh, once a month for sure. And then we have a uh, a little trap door on the back, which that's where we keep our feed, and, um, and that's where it's easy access for us to be able to feed them. And we have a trough on the back all the way down. And we have a divider in the middle of this pen. This pen is 16 foot long. And um, holding starter birds, we can hold uh, approximately 100 in here um, up to about four weeks old. And then after that, they, are, they need to go outside or be split up and uh, into two pens to be able to hold on to them at that point. But just wanted to uh, give you a little insight on one of our uh, starter bird pans. And we like the doors, like this particular one, some young birds that we've just put in here and starting them out. And you see the size that we put in here, which are very small. Um, and they, they do excellent in here. Their feet does not fall through. Um, everything is, uh, works very well on these. And like I said, you can adjust the back to accommodate uh, the size and, and all that on the birds. And here's one with a divider in it. Um, we could put that in there to divide them out because we have these that's just a little bit older than the others. And we didn't want to mix them in fear of having pecking or having a problem with uh, some of them uh, killing the other ones of some sort. And, uh, and again, they all on the rollers and the dropping catchers uh, are changed out just like the others. And then we also have a um, different type of brooder that we use for uh, the sure enough baby chicks. When we get them out of the brooders from week to week, we take them and put them in this. We have uh, heat lamp bugs which are um, on this particular end are on constantly. And we have four doors on this particular unit. And we're able to maintain the very smaller, a lot smaller birds. And we have a Georgia quail farm hanging up on the other end, which is thermostat controlled. And it hangs about 18 inches off of the ground. And then we have a little trough system in the back of it, which is a lot smaller and sticks out a little bit more for the sure enough small birds to be able to get to. And again, it's uh, 16 feet long. 
and we can hold up to um, somewhere in a, in a range uh, between uh, three and four hundred in here at one time. And here's that little trough system, which is, has the chicks, the chick starter and all that on it, but it runs the whole length of the back, just like the others. And we have pet line, which these are going to be moved into another building very soon and just didn't want to uh, try to hook the water up to them. But you see how the water is going to hook up. It's going to hook up with a washing machine hose. At some point in the building, we will have faucets where we turn each one of them off individually, and they'll hook up because we like washing machine hoses because they don't blow out or give you any troubles. And that kind of stuff can be changed out in a matter of minutes. And if you have our troubles or anything like that, so it works very well for that. But uh, we have three of these have this one that we use for the smaller version of them and then we got then we got another one that moves up a little bit this one right here doesn't have anything in it right at this moment and then we have one in the back that um that's a sign so but just wanted to give you a little bit of insight of how um these right here are and how they operate and these are also uh run any that these run about four feet each as far as the width, and then they run 16 foot long. And we thank you very much. And you can contact us at breastfarms.com.